12-year-old Farida Bakare shows off a prototype for a solar-powered car made from cardboard, which she developed with her classmates at Knox Secondary School in Nigeria. She is one of the 82 pupils in the school that targets students from poor families and gives them a chance to excel at science, maths and engineering for a fee of only 25 cents a day. Before, I didn't have to use the, lap and the laptop, the monitors and all this. So it, now in the Knox and Benaride School, I've made solar car, I've made solar itself and I've used solar to charge a phone. Students are provided with uniforms, books and lunch with the fee. And girls are given sanitary pads once a month as well. Irene Bangwell is the founder of the school. When we decided to run the North School, we had to ask ourselves, what kind of education does the poor man's child need to break out of poverty? That's what we set out to do. We didn't set out to open a classroom and say, oh, there's another new school for poor children. No. We said, how can we fuse into learning for the poor? enough value that they can break out of poverty. At least 10.5 million children in Nigeria do not attend school, the United Nations said in January. That's the highest rate in the world. The most affected are girls, children with disability and those from poor households. NOSC school runs largely on donations. School officials visit each family to establish if they have capacity to pay full fees, which would be about $159 a term. Bakare, who lives with her mother and four siblings in a poor neighborhood in Abuja, heads to the markets to help her mother after school every day. I want to become an um, electrical engineer who works with robots, um, solar panels and all the connection of all the snap circuits, all things like that.